video we're going to talk about the role that biochar can play inside of your worm system and in the nutrition of your worms. Biochar is plant material that has been heated up in the absence of oxygen and it has the capacity to multiply exponentially the surface area for microbial habitat. It creates the living conditions for microorganisms to thrive inside of your composting system. And you're probably wondering, why are we talking about microorganisms? I thought this video was about worm nutrition. Well, microorganisms account for the vast majority of the food that worms eat inside of your composting system. For that reason, in order for you to enrich the nutrition of your worms, you have to think about what can you do to increase not only microbial population, but also microbial diversity inside of your worm system. What you're trying to do is bring more food to the buffet by expanding the menu of microorganisms that your worms can eat. When you think about biochar inside of your worm bin, I want you to think about the role that coral reefs play in the ocean. They provide a structure and habitat for a wide range of microorganisms to live, thrive and reproduce inside of your composting system. Better microscopic life inside of your worm system translates into better nutrition for your worms. You may be thinking you're feeding your worms food scraps, but what's actually happening inside of your bin is that your worms are gravitating towards the bacteria, the protozoans, the nematodes and the fungi decomposing your food scraps. As a matter of fact, it is the nutrients produced by bacteria what actually gets absorbed into the bloodstream of your worms. Your worms also have living organisms right inside of their bodies, helping them break down complex molecular structures into simple elements they can digest. Microorganisms inside of your worm bin function a lot like probiotics inside of the human body. Your vermiculture system is a recycling system and also a digestive system. It's a recycling system in the sense that it's allowing you to recycle 100% of the organic matter that comes out of your garden and your kitchen. And it's a digestive system in the sense that it's breaking down and transforming all of that material into simpler elements that can be absorbed by your plants in the garden. When you compare the material inside of your worm bin to the worm castings that are coming out of the worm's bodies, the worm castings actually have richer microbial life than what the worms are taking in. So they are not just breaking down materials into simple elements, they are also adding life and new biology to that material that comes out in the form of worm castings. Once in the soil, microbial life is responsible for breaking down nutrients and minerals into basic elements that your plants can absorb. That is why vermicompost is richer than fertilizers that you can get at the store, because what you get at the store is essentially minerals, for the most part is dead material. But vermicompost is teeming with biology, is teeming with life, and it also has the basic key elements and nutrients and minerals that your plants can absorb. One of the benefits of adding leaves to your composting system as bedding is that different tree species have different minerals. And when you, they break down, you essentially have a wider range of nutrients available not only to your worms, but ultimately to your plants. And through your plants, those nutrients are also available to you. If you're getting value out of this video, please do me a favor. Please click like and subscribe and share this video with someone you may think will benefit from hearing this information. Because what I'm trying to do here is to share information with you, to inspire you to try new things in your worm system. Biochar has the capacity to multiply, exponentially multiply the surface area that is available for microbial life inside of your vermicompost. And this is how it works. One gram a little pebble of biochar has the equivalent of 9,000 square feet of surface area, which is prime habitat for microorganisms. It is like if you go into the suburbs and replace every single family home with an apartment building that can host up to 9,000 families. That is the capacity of biochar to maximize and increase the surface area for microbial ecosystems to thrive. The multidimensional quality of biochar 
comes from the fact that when you burn plant material in the absence of oxygen, the old passageways that were used to transport water and nutrients are emptied. And instead, what's remaining is the carbon skeleton of that vegetable tissue. That carbon skeleton creates a material that is sterile and is also stable because it resists decay. This is why biochar works like a coral reef inside of your worm bin, because it's allowing different kinds of microorganisms to have a stable habitat where to live, thrive, and reproduce. And that translates in better and more nutrition available to your worms. Uh, these are the food scraps that I added a week ago. The worms are already working on it. You can see there is a ton of eggshells. And this is the point when really it makes a lot of sense to add biochar to start really making home for all of those microorganisms are just beginning to really peak in here. So worms are a lot like chickens in terms of having a geyser and requiring small particles of rocks, pebbles to grind their food. So I like to put some sand on top and I don't mix the sand into the bin right away. I just kind of put it on top and let them come up and get it. So this is another material that I add to my bin just because it adds a different surface for microbia, it also adds different texture for grit for the worms. In a two bin composting system, I also like to add biochar into my lower bin. As I explained in another video, I have a two bin system and in the lower bin I usually have a lot of wood chips and those wood chips work as a filtration system, they soak in a lot of the excess humidity from the top bin. I also inoculate these wood chips with King Astrophoria, so check out one of my other videos where I describe that more in depth. Because biochar is almost 100% carbon, it can prevent the formation of odors inside of your worm system. Biochar also helps regulate the humidity in your composting system, working as a sponge that will retain excess humidity and then make it available if things get too dried inside of your worm bin. In order for you to unleash the potential of biochar as a soil amend, it needs to be inoculated. So oftentimes you hear that biochar doesn't work if you don't activate it. Well, this process of activating biochar, what that means is you are inoculating the material with microbial life. Needless to say, when you add biochar to your worm system, what you're doing is activating the biochar. So when you place the worm castings in your soil, all that microbial life is already present in a host environment that is stable, so it's not going to be washed away or dried up so easily by the sun. Another interesting characteristic of biochar is that it has a negative electric charge on its surface, and that allows it to attract and sequester nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. When you are adding biochar from your worm bins into your soil, you have these miniature batteries that are charged with microorganisms and with key nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. And they will slowly release that fertility into your soil. In a sense, adding biochar to your vermiculture system is a way to create your own slow release fertilizer. This particular biochar has a very fine texture. I bought it on Amazon. I usually collect my biochar from different state parks, right from the fire pits in the middle of the week when nobody's camping. Most people usually dump water into the fire pits after they're dumped for the day. And the lower layers of material that are not really exposed to oxygen will just cooled off and that is biochar so you can get biochar from a fire pit i do suggest that you clean it from ashes just rinse it out and let it dry this is my so question for you what are you doing at home to enrich the quality of the life of your worms beyond food scraps and bedding what are those things that you have found that you have discovered that really fascinate your worms please share that with us in the comments so that we may also be inspired by what you're doing <laughs>